going on everybody so in my garage weather's not very good today so we're not fishing um, the last video that I shot and posted on YouTube was basically a review of the Ranger RT 178 and why I chose that boat amongst other aluminum models that are out there um, through that a lot of the viewers and subscribers asked me uh, to do a video about the storage compartments in this boat and basically how I organize or lay them out so that's going to be today's video quick little video about how I lay it out uh, for tournament use and what's practical for me so I hope you guys get a lot out of this without further ado let's go There is, um, inside the recessed patrol motor tray, is a little tool compartment and a cup holder, in which I usually keep some, um, even those pliers, uh, maybe a knife, and I throw some scent up there, and I'll usually have like another drop shot rigged up, ready to tie on up there waiting for me. Moving back, start on the left side with the rod locker. Um, I think I have 10 rods in here. There's only seven tubes, but I usually double up and I think that it's fair to say that they can probably fit at least three or four more rods in there. <clears throat> my middle compartment is basically for my net. I've got a blanket in there, um, some life vests. I keep my measuring ruler in there. It's pretty much a utility compartment and my front bow light to the right. This is my tackle. I divide this, um, it holds, supposed to hold five Plano boxes. I divide it by um, top water. So all my frogs, my buzz baits, uh, whopper floppers, anything like that. I have my two different hard bait boxes, one for shallow water, one for deep water, so I'll throw like my jerk bait suspending stuff in the deep water, uh, my rattle traps, um, throw my square bills in this shallow water box, and then I have a terminal tackle, a small box in the middle. I, I don't really carry a whole bunch of stuff compared to most guys. Uh, moving back to the console, there's another tool compartment, so I've got some scissors, um, We've got like a safety seat belt, so seat belt cut tool here. Another pair of scissors. <clears throat> All right, so in this compartment down here, this is where I keep my plastics. I separate these into two categories. So on the right, this is going to be all my worms, um, any type of Cinco, any type of trick worm. Uh, any type of robo worm, anything like that is going to be on the right. All my creature baits and my swim baits are on the left. One of the things I do is, I don't know if you can see that, but I went to the post office and I grabbed some of their flat rate boxes and I'll cut them to the size I need to fit inside of here. I've also got a spinner bait box, full spinner baits. I've got some random stuff in the middle, some lines in case I need to reline while I'm out. But that's basically how I break down the tackle. Pretty simple. So, moving to the seats. This is where I keep my throwable. This is where I keep registration documents. Um, my fire extinguisher is in there. I keep a towel. That's extremely important. In case you fall in the water, you're going to have to get dry pretty quick. Or hyperthermia sets in. Um, Underneath my seat, I keep my dock rope, a pair of gloves, some dude wipes, a first aid kit, all the things that you want, um, some bug spray, and sunscreen. So anything that I need to pretty much survive the fishing day. Towards the back, this boat has a double-sided live well. I couldn't tell you how many gallons. Uh, one of the things I did is I set up my, um, my culling devices inside of here so I can 
tag my fish easy and call them if I need to. This box down here, I use basically as a cooler. So when I'm out fishing a tournament, I'm going to put my water and my snacks, stuff like that inside of there. And whatever my co-angler brings. On this side is pretty much my boat maintenance compartment. Um, this is where I keep my earmuffs, WD-40 screwdrivers, prop wrenches, um, Stabil 360 fuel treatment. Uh, I got a pull cord in there and my tournament weigh-in bag. So, in the back, this is what everyone everyone should be the same on basically is batteries, fuel tank. Um, I've got a cast net back there in case I'm fun fishing with the family and gonna catch some bait fish and use some live stuff. But other than that, uh, I got a charger back there. That's pretty much it with this boat. It's not very complex, pretty simple. But I hope that answered everyone's questions. It's plenty of space. Um, real easy to fish out of. Appreciate you guys watching. So, gents, it's pretty much it when it comes to the storage and organization of the Ranger RT-178 and how I lay this boat out for tournament use. Hope this was an informative video for you. Hopefully it helped you out. Uh, please subscribe. Got plenty more content coming. Thank you. Just cruising along and catch these two fellas. Big blue on the blade, babe. Yeah, I figured I had to feature that.